Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Eric Bolling's lawyer destroys Lib News site for what they said Eric did. The liberal media is never happy when conservatives call them out on being wrong, like how CNN reporter got dressed down during the White House press briefing by Trump adviser Stephen Miller for his deeply misleading comments. Instead of admitting guilt and trying to improve themselves, liberal reporters have been lashing out and attempting to smear their conservative counterparts. This happened recently, not long after the White House press briefing, when the Huffington Post ran an expose about Fox News host Eric Bolling making indecent gestures to female co-workers. Wrote the Huffington Post's Yashar Ali in the hit piece, Eric Bolling, a longtime Fox News host sent an unsolicited photo of male genitalia via text message to at least two colleagues at Fox Business and one colleague at Fox News, a dozen sources told HuffPost. Recipients of the photo confirmed its contents to HuffPost, which is not revealing their identities. Ali continued, the women, who were Bulling's current and former Fox colleagues, concluded the message was from him because they recognized his number from previous work-related and informal interactions. The messages were sent several years ago, on separate occasions. Thankfully, Eric's attorney Michael Bow shot down these allegations, telling Breitbart News the story is based on anonymous sources and not true. No such unsolicited communications occurred. Did you support Eric Bowling? Protestant Al Gore says he might become a Catholic for a ridiculous reason. Former presidential candidate Al Gore failed to win the election in 2000, so he suddenly got behind the trendy issue of global warming, and it led him back into the spotlight. Now that his party is out of power during Trump's presidency, he clearly feels the need to become relevant again, so he is pushing another Dell Global Warming documentary. He has been making the media rounds telling Democrats what they want to hear and even claim that he could ditch his adherence to the Southern Baptist Church. Said Gore during a CNN town hall to liberal Catholic Father John S. Roush, I'm a Protestant, but I'll tell you, because of Pope Francis, I really could become a Catholic. He is really an amazing spiritual leader. He then said would like everyone from all religions to read Pope Francis's environmental letter Laudato Si. He continued, now I was taught in my church that the purpose of life is to glorify God and if we are heaping contempt on God's creation, then we're not living up to the duty that God is calling us to. And so this, the way we live our lives is definitely connected to this. It is, it's not a political issue, it is a moral and spiritual issue. And thank you for bringing that up. Gore has been effusive in his praise of Francis, saying previously. I think Pope Francis is quite an inspiring figure really. I've been startled with the clarity of the moral force that he embodies. And I know the vast majority of my Catholic friends are just thrilled to the marrow of their bones that he is providing this kind of spiritual leadership. Do you think Gore has strayed from his Baptist faith? Lena Dunham attacks American Airlines for being transphobic but then they hit her right back. Liberal extremist and girls actress Lena Dunham went on an online rant against American Airlines for supposedly being transphobic. Not gonna call out the airline who delayed cause SHT happens but I did just overhear two at American Air attendants having a transphobic talk, tweeted Dunham. At this moment in history we should be teaching our employees about love and inclusivity at American Air. That was worst part of this night, she tweeted. She went on to share screenshots of messages that she sent American Airlines. Hi. I heard two female attendants walking talking about how trans kids are a trend they'd never accept a trans child and transness is gross. I think it reflects badly on uniformed employees of your company to have that kind of dialogue going on. What if a trans teen was walking behind them? She wrote to the airlines.
In response to this Fox's Greg Gutfeld wrote the following tweets. She actually contacted the airline to inform on these women, over an overheard conversation. Think about how empty you must be to do that tweeted Gutfeld. 1984, Big Brother is watching you. 2017, Big Lena is watching you, tweeted Gutfeld. The airlines eventually responded that her claims were completely unsubstantiated. We always look into complaints from customers, but at this time, we are unable to substantiate these allegations, a spokesperson for American Airlines told Fox News. Rosie O'Donnell's own daughter just called her out for what she really is, ouch. Liberal television personality Rosie O'Donnell never seems to stop hurling insults at Donald Trump. She started long before Trump became, and she ramped it up significantly since Trump began his successful run for the presidency. Nothing seems to be out of bounds for Rosie, who kicked off the liberal hate storm against President Trump's preteen son Barron, claiming via her Twitter account that she thinks he is autistic. Unfortunately for O'Donnell, she has no shortage of issues with her own daughter Chelsea O'Donnell, who recently pointed out what a hypocrite Rosie truly is. Rosie is always preaching the need to be tolerant of alternative lifestyles, and freely calls Trump and his conservative allies closed-minded bigots and, worse yet, crazy. Rosie's daughter, however, described how her supposedly sane and open-minded daughter flipped out on her for getting a tattoo. Said Chelsea to the Daily Mail, it was pretty late at night. A couple of weeks prior, I had gotten a tattoo. Rosie O'Donnell, had spyware on my phone so she could see pretty much everything I did. A drunk Rosie, empty wine bottle in tow, reportedly entered Chelsea's bedroom, locked the door and told her if she didn't show her the tattoo she could kill her. Described the young girl O'Donnell, she told me if I didn't show her, if I tried to leave, that she would hit me with the wine bottle, call the police and tell them that I had attacked her. She was holding it above her head and coming after me in her room. She kept trying to run after me and saying that if she really wanted to she could kill me, she's that strong. She continued, I didn't go to the police because of who she is. She would have tried to say I was crazy and they just wouldn't believe me. She does things that are going to make her look good. She lied about kicking me out by saying that I'm missing and making everyone all worried. Do you think Rosie is seriously disturbed? Judge Janine just threatened what will happen if Trump's family gets indicted. The Democrats and establishment Republicans have been leading a witch hunt against President Donald Trump, and it just escalated recently when reports have come out that the investigators may seek to indict other members of Trump's family along with the president. This news did not sit well with Fox News's Judge Janine Pirro and the hosts of the Fox and Friends program. On the show. They discussed what the consequences might be if investigators try to insert Trump's children and other relations. Commented Pirro during an appearance on the program about the situation, I'm sure this is on Donald's mind, he never stops thinking. But at the same time, this is an agenda. Janine continued, here is my concern. If they end up with an indictment against a family member, just to get at Donald Trump because they couldn't get at him, there is going to be a real uproar. A real uprising in this country. Judge Janine concluded her prediction by relating to her own experience, explaining, I was a prosecutor for 32 years, you can indict a ham sandwich. The only person in that grand jury is the district attorney who is interacting all of those grand jurors on what the law is, and the body language is clear. Do you think she's correct? Liv Martin Sheen just said a nasty thing about Americans to Canadians, it's so insulting. It is awful how liberal Hollywood celebrities are willing to throw their own country and its citizens under the bus at a moment's notice if it means they can take a pot shot at conservatives. 
This was recently shown once again when liberal activist and Apocalypse Now and the West Wing actor was in Canada and told a reporter that he was relieved that his PBS show Anne of Green Gables films there instead of in the United States. Said a reporter to fictional TV President Sheen, as former President of the United States, you set a high standard for the office, and continued, I can't let this go by without asking if you would like to say a few words about the current president. Responded ultra liberal Martin, we were doing so well without any mention of that dark force. Dot so let's leave it right there where it belongs. I don't want to give him any more airtime than we have to. Throwing shade at Americans, he added that he is always delighted. Dot dot so relieved to leave the land of lunatics. He continued, ridiculously, for me, going into Canada, they know when I'm there how giddy I am and love the country and the culture. Canada is still now very much like the culture I grew up with in Dayton, Ohio in the 50s. Why do liberals hate America so much?